Hi guys, it's Erfa here and in today's video I'll give you guys a template to that sick end screen. I will show you guys how to customize it and how to use it and how to render it. The only plugins you will have to have for this template is the Unirose plugins. But that's basically all I had to say. But now enough talking, let's get right into the tutorial. So the first step to make this sick end screen is go down to the description. In the description you will find a link to a Google Drive folder where you will find two fonts, download them to, then you will find a project file in the same Google Drive and download the project file. Then you just open the project file up and you should come in in the same project as me and it should look exactly as it do for me. If it doesn't do lo look like mine then probably you will come up in the main menu and then if you watch you should have a new project called RP end screen but and then you just open it up but hopefully you will just directly come to this project it should look like this so what's so good with this end screen is it's fully customizable you can change the colors of all glows all text and everything the keyframe is too already done so how to change the text, I hope you already know. You just go to any of the text and press color and change it. I'll leave it on white, but I see I can change it to whatever you want. So do that to every text if you want to change anything. I'll show you soon how to change the glow to another color and the background. But first I will show you how to change the background to another color. You press on the solid color down below and press on color. You can make it blue, you can make it yellow, orange, whatever you want, but I'll leave it at black. And now, basically, this is the only thing you need to change, so you need to change it, is the text that's right above the solid color. We will see a bunch of RP text. That's basically what's behind all of this. Basically, what you can do is just delete all of this, this, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna write your channel name. So, we can say that my channel name is who he that it's not my channel name but that's not just something i just come up with press space and copy it Control c what you're gonna do now you're gonna just spam Control v until you have done two lines like this what you do done now you will see that you only have one line so what you're gonna do now is press enter that will take you down the line and do exactly the same thing go two lines so just spam the Control v press enter Spam control V, press enter. So basically it's that easy. So basically now I'm done. You see now the whole background is hui he ha ha. <laughs> I don't know what my name is. But and it will already be animated. So if you scroll by it's pretty laggy, but you see that it's moves a little bit so that will already be done and all the transitions will to be done so this subscribe button will come in too as you see you can change it yourself soon if you want by just deleting the transition and add something you want but i'll lift them there so, but just so you know you can delete them but you can change the color of these too by just going to the color make it maybe blue you want it but i'll leave it at gray i feel like this is a really clean style now I'm gonna show you how to change the glow around all these white thingies. That's basically just press on these three compound clips. That's basically all these three. This is for this, this is for the under one, and this is for the middle one. So we can start by just going to the middle one, go to FX, and I have added some Unicto. I don't suggest you play around at all with these three effects, the three effects upside because I already found the best ones. If you don't wanna like take this up so it's a little bit fire, but I feel like this is the best one, so you don't need to play around. But you can change the colors by just doing different of these. Like for me, I think this looks pretty clean, but I will probably stay with the cool preset. And then just do that exact same to the, these two if you want. Now I'll just show you this odd text here, you can change what it stands, but I think this is the best one for my suggestion, previous video, and you, so as you see guys it stands previous upload, oh why is it so many previous upload, I just delete them because they are not important, like as you see guys nothing changed, oh how many did I make, hey we, but yeah, you don't have to delete them because it's already will be deleted, because I'll take the project file after this, I've recorded this part, 
So this is basically it. And here you just change all the colors. You just go to color, go to video tab and you can change for that. So that's basically it. Here's the subscribe, here's the PNG of this. And that's basically everything I have to say. Uh, if you want how to render it, I can show you real quick. Go to here. All the renders should already be done. So force the sizing all should all be done. The bitrate so should be set and everything should be done. So don't change anything. The only thing you will have to change is it will stand for you. Users airpiece videos, but you will not be able to render it. So even if it stands videos here, you need to go to browser and do it again. So just press save and do it again, but in your files, because it won't render if not do that. But if you have any problems, you can always leave a comment or hit me up on Discord or Twitter or Instagram, link in the description. And yeah, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, drop a like, drop a sub if you did, and see you guys in the next video.